Here I am talking more about springs. I'm going to continue this little segment since uh, a lot of people email me and we have, have a lot of questions about springs. A lot of stores never change the torque springs when upgrading their scooter or go-kart. And again, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a mechanic. I do have a lot of experience with this stuff, but I'm going to explain it in the terminology that I understand it. And sometimes I get the terms wrong. I might exaggerate with pressure or confuse some terms. I, there's a lot of nitpicking on the internet, but the reality is they work. And this is how they work. This is a 300cc stock spring on the left that came from China from a 300cc clone of the Honda engine. And this is the MRP spring that we sell. And a lot of dealers do stock and sell these. And the 300cc go-karts and ATVs that use them do have more takeoff and more power. How do, what do I mean by that? Okay, because I'm going to get some emails talking about the, the term power. It's constructed of a better material. It's going to perform better. Okay, it's going to give you more power at takeoff. Um, what, how, how does it perform better? It's, it's going to have better results okay, than the stock one that's not made of the best materials. It also reacts better during temperature stress tests. And it maintains a steady spring constant. What does that mean when I say steady spring constant? Well, it's, it's, it's an engineering term, and it basically describes the stiffness of the spring. Now, in a scooter, when people are tuning their scooters, the fan belt, it tends to slip on the upgraded motors. Now, this is the same thing. It's behind on the, the rear clutch on the scooter. But once you upgrade to one of the stiffer springs, it's going to press harder against the rear of the fan. And that's what's going to give you more takeoff. It's going to make sure that the fan belt is held tight to the back that's behind in the, in the, uh, in the scooter engine. And without the rear force uh, clutch spring, you're not going to get that. It's going to give you more takeoff, basically. Now, it also sets the RPMs. So you have low, you have 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. You've seen some that are 2,500. There's some that are 1,800. They make them in different colors. There's red, yellow, blue are the normal colors. Some of the Italian companies make them in green, orange. There's purple. It really doesn't mean anything. It's just marketing. Same thing. Some people put different decorations on the sides and their logos. A lot of these springs are now coming from Taiwan, from the same companies. I mentioned that before. We buy from the same companies where Polini and COSO and NCY buy at. It's all the, the same thing. What you're really looking for is, in the terminology again, is the pounds per inch. What is it that this is really compressing and how much is it giving? And they come in different RPM. So, you know, again, 1,000, 1,500. And they are made of reinforced materials. Don't, uh, there's a lot of people out there that'll sell you a spring that is stock and tell you it's racing. It's not. Usually you can tell just by the stiffness of the spring and how it works. These two also, another question I get, they are different sizes. Why is one larger than the other? It really doesn't matter. The application is the same because see, if you press it, it's gonna, it's gonna press down. This one is actually harder to press down. So in the end, they end up being the same exact thing. Again, not an engineer. This is just the way I understand it. And the one on the right has a higher spring constant. It's gonna shift, but the torque is gonna to remain the same as you ride your scooter, your ATV, or your go-kart. Um, there is a scientific formula for this, and I think the constant is defined as F equals K times X, where K is the spring constant. That's engineering. Again, X is the distance traveled, and F is the force applied. You have a whole formula that explains how this work. It works. Most scooter people just understand that the counter pressure on the spring is going to reinforce the belt. It's not going to slip. You're going to have more takeoff. That's really what it comes down to. Now, if you're going to switch this, you might as well switch the clutch springs in the front. You also want to play with the roller weights. Uh, you want to play with the clutch. I mean, it, it all works together. So if you only do one thing, you're not going to see, on a scooter especially, 50cc, you're not going to see that many results. If you do several of these things, you do the clutch, the variator, the roller weights, the sliders, you're going to see better results. So it's, it's when you're upgrading the CVT system, you want to make sure you do more than just one thing. You want to do everything. So again, this is stock. This is racing. I hope that relieves a little bit of the confusion. Why you want to do it? Well, you want more takeoff. You want more top end speed. And whether you're racing or you're just getting, uh, in the ATV case, you want more power, you're trying to get out of the holes faster, or you want to take off faster, you want to go with a lower RPM, if you're, uh, which is going to be one of the different colors for lower RPMs, 1,000 RPM, 1,500 RPM. If you want more high-end, if you want higher RPMs, you're going to want to change the clutch springs, the torque spring, the roller weights. They're going to want to be heavier. You want something heavier, like a 2,000 RPM. Um, you're going to want um, heavier roller weights. You're going to want to have... Uh, the small little springs are going to want to be heavier. This is going to have to be heavier as well. 
that's the one constant, the, again, the one thing that you need to be aware of. You can't put like lower roller weights and then a heavy spring and then a different color clutch spring and then a clutch that's set for racing for high end and expect it to work right. You gotta make sure that each one of these little things is done right. So you can mix and match, you can play with it. It's called tuning and splicing, but you gotta have an end goal in sight. So do you want more speed or more power? That's really what it comes down to. These are for the 300 cc's. They're smaller, but they still work. Don't worry if it's not the same exact size. It's the application that you're looking for. I hope that answers a little bit of the confusions I got in the emails from the, the, the videos I posted. All right, guys? Thanks.